All right, 14 tiers down, one final tier remains. That is equivalent up, 93% completion. So three more gold trophies we're gonna need. And uh, my primary concern here is the drag race. So let's check into that and see if it's actually doable unserviced. I'm not putting any more upgrades on this car. I have already met the PR requirement to win, uh, complete the basically the minimum PR requirement, right? 32.2. So uh, this might require me to service the car, but uh, let's check in first and, uh, you know, see how this turns out. Look at it. Ah, oh, such a beautiful car. Yes, indeed. Let's see, if we look at the shifting gear. No, not so much. Oh, yeah, not a chance. I don't think I will. Oh, I'm catching up. But yeah, not enough. Oh, what? I I won. I did. How did that happen? All right. I guess um maybe they got a head start since their time was slower than mine. I guess that's the at the end of the day the most important thing maybe. All right. Or their finish line must be further down than where I end up. All right, so, okay, goodbye. I don't seem to quite able to keep up with this. But uh, look at that, oh, this must be a bug. <laughs> that, that's rather comical. But hey, when the results, is, result, results are in my favor, can't complain too much, right? All right, so here we go. Maybe this uh, streak of luck will continue. All right, this is okay. This one, I'm actually starting out pulling ahead for at least a little bit at the beginning. Maybe I'm actually winning for a change. Uh, okay, so um, what is the takeaway here? What you see may not actually end up being the result of the race, is what we see there. Because uh, first two, definitely, I was way behind, but uh, unfortunately for Aaron Doyle and Fishman, um, Apparently, I was faster than them. Amazing. I suppose stranger things have happened in the past. So, all right. Well, there's that. That's good enough. Um, so now 95% complete. Two more gold trophies we're going to need. So let's do elimination. Sure. It's going to be a Nurburgring. And we're still running unserviced. It's going to be at Mühlenbach Life. The short, curvy track. What a beautiful set of cars here. All right. And we're off. Alright, I think the first corner is pretty close here from the starting point. So, not falling behind right away, which means we should be able to win the gold trophy without too much trouble. Over this little bridge. A little 
tricky sometimes. Swing out wide, carry the maximum speed. Head slight downhill. Comes in very handy when we have like speed record or a speed snap event here. Four more opponents to eliminate, so that is that's 80 seconds. There we go, that's better. Yeah, a lot of sharp corners here. Enjoy the cool, I suppose. Oh no. no. There we go. Difficult to block them off when you're in the cockpit view, I, I guess. Anyway, good enough for another gold trophy. The second to last one that we're gonna need. Worth some 1200 fame points. Alright. So let's move on. So that is the gold trophy number 44 in this event, which leaves us with one final gold trophy. And that is going to be on the cup at Catalunya Grand Prix. 97% complete. If we skip, uh, essentially we'll end up foregoing the final gold reward of 15 gold. But we wouldn't do something silly like that. All right, so PR 32.2 required for this three lapper Catalunya Grand Prix cup. And of course, once again, you reach this PR by getting three upgrades across the board. What was the cost? 199 gold, I think, right? Anyway, let's uh, do this and wrap up this event. And maybe we'll try to actually make some move into the 1962 season in uh, it's, uh, endurance GT racing, right? Under motorsports category, this car's series in the game. So, we'll check into that and maybe find out what's required to actually complete that series. It's a single car series, just features this Ferrari only, which is a little sad if you ask me, but um, it is what it is. You can not even customize them either, which is truly tragic. or gone off track so let's see if we can make this final race into a perfect race of course going on the rumble strip should not count against me in terms of um, when they're counting clean race bonus 
But sometimes, um, well, actually not sometimes, they do count it against you when you have two wheels off track and two wheels on track, which is not obviously necessarily off track under normal circumstances, but uh, yeah, maybe they're just counting. Who knows what they're counting? Anyway. Alright, finishing the lap one in first place. About two minutes and five, no, four and a half. Alright, so let's see, could we do a lap now that we get the sort of a rolling start here? Under two minutes. Seems like it should be doable. Decent grip on this guy. difference between uh, standing start lap and uh, running start lap with these cars. As I stated earlier, the series rely heavily on the momentum. That big skidding out spin off. Uh, I don't think I'll quite hit the same kind of lap time as the lap two, but still good enough for the final gold trophy, which is what we're after to win me this beautiful Ferrari 250 GTO. Retro interior, big old steering wheel, lots of gauges. Uh, I think the temperature gauge doesn't really work. Yeah. Or either that or this car runs super cool. <laughs> anyway, yep, 155 and change for the last lap. That's all right. So we'll lose some points here, 120 po uh, points, I call it, 120 racing dollars. The penalty for off track. Anyway, but there we are. 
5 minute 50 seconds and change minute 50 for the best lap that was of course lap 2 and we'll put the car in for service now that we we're done with this limited time series all right the final gold gold trophy 100% complete 15 gold and some 40,000 racing dollars and the new car in the garage beautiful All right and yes it does unlock that 1962 season endurance GT racing under uh, motorsports category so hopefully it's not terrible I mean this isn't too expensive of a car I mean and uh, it's I think it's a lot of fun it's gorgeous possibly one of the best looking cars in the entirety of real racing 3 maybe just my opinion anyway um, yeah hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the playthrough and you guys get to win this car and we'll see you in the next video so for now that does it for me. All right, take care.